Sustainable living is hard enough. Now add the pressures of a global pandemic and all bets are off. So we tracked down some experts and asked, how can we recycle food scraps into nutrient-rich soil? One thing that a lot of consumers do or certainly should consider doing for that food that, uh, again, maybe is not capable of, of uh, feeding people or maybe animals is composting. Cut up your food waste as much as you can. You even blend it, put it into your blender and, and mince it up that way if you can. I live in an apartment here, so I freeze my food waste in a bowl. I put it into my freezer in a metal bowl, just put all my scraps and bits and pieces in there. And there's a someone's put a compost bin a couple of streets away in a flower bed. So I just take my compost there and put it into that compost bin. But then with a the compost bin, if you have one in your garden or in your allotment, you want to keep moving it. You want to keep stirring it. Um, because you need to create, get air moving around it to keep the uh, anaerobic digestion um, process happening. If it's organic, it can be composted. I would say in an apartment or urban setting, it's looking to find, um, you know, what services are available in that area that, you know, can allow for composting. But when you're engaging with the service, obviously they will have their own prerequisites um, because, for instance, some compostable packaging, composters don't want the, that input because, you know, the, the whole premise of compost is that you're taking in organic matter to produce quality compost, right? So you need nutrition coming in and some composters, they'll only take up to a certain ratio of compostable packaging because it's an ultra processed polymer that does break down, but it doesn't contribute anything to the compost. For more videos on how to live sustainably, visit newsy.com slash sustainability.